back in 2006 and 7 it was a little more complicated or at least a multi-step process to play your stuff from the auxiliary side of things so you have AM FM you know which is just radio in this case preset C which is ABC from here right you had what's that satellite AM FM right usual then you wanted to play stuff from the auxiliary side okay disc but you push disc it says CD and then you push it again it goes to DVD then it says settings auxiliary right so you go to settings rear display on so for now it's down right it's down and if you turn it off you can't do anything with it like this check this out I can't I can't move anywhere right but then okay then now I can come back down here and change what's displaying on the on the rear a map use the auxiliary input or use your DVD alright it, it was a, a little bit of a multi-step process but so yeah that's how you play your stuff uh, from the it doesn't have the convenience of the front uh, of the front seat passengers or the drivers easily doing it uh, but it's it's possible you can do stuff not a touch screen right can't really do anything with it right no touch screen but there was one big advantage at least the advertise was that this here was a CD mp3 uh, player and it was a six CD changer was it six or five six let me see oh, let me put the CD I think it was six yeah so yeah, well, that's that's it for audio, right? One of the differences. Then here you'll see this card does not have deep, uh, navigation, right? As you can see here. So when I go to disk, it shows DVD or or the aux or CD. So auxiliary. And it says settings or DVD right there. Show that again. And what I do is go to settings. It's real, man, it's bright. That's better. Rear display. Okay, to open it. And down here then only shows DVD or auxiliary right so th that's multi-step process for this one all right let's keep jamming all right let's talk media all right um, you have your basic menu and I'll go through them a little bit you know one by one so AM FM satellite radio disk auxiliary and I'll, I'll go through those and you'll see uh, what happens and you have very many ways to select things you know you have this wheel over here which goes up and down you've got this over here which can select up and down as well um, source is basically what picks between the auxiliary it picks between the different options of playing media, you know, AM, FM, radio, um, satellite, and all that. So, first thing, you have your AM, FM, right? You know, and you can go, you can use the arrows as well. As I said, you've got so many different ways of playing stuff. Then down here, you can go, you know, to next. All right, so next. So next just basically goes on to the next uh, next FM station that has something in it, right? See, it picks a station with something in it. If I hold on to this track, right? Let me hold on to it. Oh, I like this song. All right. 
So then you can use this one right here to basically manually go on over. All right, that's FM for you. And I'll just pick my preselects. Right, so that's AM, FM. I could do this and it will take me through AM, FM and satellite, right? This is the button I'm pressing. AM, FM, where I have it set, satellite radio, right? Okay, let's go back to uh, FM here. Then down here, I have preset A, B, C. Okay, so same thing, come here, A, B, C. And I use that mainly when, you know, if I go to a certain city and I, I'm there often enough, I just have it as preset B or C. Um, so, and under B or C, you actually have AM, FM, and satellite as well. So there are many different ways to play things uh, here, and which is basically 6 by 3, right, 18 times A, B, C, which is, you know, 54 different channels you can save them all as AM FM you can save them all as satellite it just depends on what you want and satellite radio works if you have activated the Sirius XM at least for for this car that's what it is so I'll go back to preset a that's where I reside actually I have good songs okay and the typical way of you know setting uh, your stations is just go to the station you need come here push the numbers hold on to it and it beeps on and becomes your station right so back to that all right so that's FM for you then this menu here is a fun one um, let's do this CD I hit disk it showed aux here um, you don't need this to always play like this because this is what the auxiliary input is right here this is the back this is the rear you know this is the middle of the back of the center console and these right here are your auxiliary inputs right audio stuff then yellow right there would be for your video I do not have video right now but if I did it would be playing until I came here and released the brake the foot uh, the e parking brake or e-brake so release that see it says it says video will resume when something plays however it still plays that's how I play my my you know using my phone so for example gonna have to crank it up though what did he say okay let's listen to that again. Hey, you heard the man. Okay, so that's <laughs> the aux part of the auxiliary. So it still plays audio even when you not you don't have the e-brake on. Uh, but it would, you know, if you had the rear screen back, you know, if you had the rear screen, this guy right here, if you had that uh, lowered or opened it would keep playing in the back whatever video you have so um then from there actually let me just engage the e-brake again there's a way to bypass that by the way um which i don't really i haven't gotten into yet uh then push the button again ipod and the ipod input is somewhere in here There you go. Somewhere in there, beyond this case. So when you open that, there's an iPod input. Usually you you could have your iPod or it's some kind of Apple device. I can't remember what version, honestly. But you know you get your input and you could use a cable. I believe the M56 has a cable that comes up, and you just stick it out through here, and that's how you're gonna play. Uh, you know, using your iPod and there were forward thinking enough <laughs> to have your iPod integrated to the to the screen right but however they just do not have a, a way for a Android and other things right oh I don't know is there anything else out there then push L button again oh there you go 
Okay, see this part right here? This right here says Grace Note. It is part of the hard drive system here. Say you had um, music that was, I suppose, integrated with the Grace Note system. Uh, it's maybe a network. Uh, basically, once you uh, bring your CD here, I know CD is the one way to do it. I don't know if you can do it through the iPod, and you have it here, and it starts, um, you know, starts ripping it. That's, you know, you can rip music. It rips it onto the hard drive here, and the hard drive is also uh, your GPS is your navigation is hard drive based. So here, you do have a hard drive as well. Like it all right so you have hard drive hard drive is one way of playing music then you've got what else oh CDs and as you can see the number here is like 59 and that goes back to this other button here, this other right in here. It is an MP3, well it says compact disc digital audio. That's all it says there, but it actually plays MP3s as well. The difference is in 2008 and up, this thing only play, only had one slot, but it will play MP3s. The earlier ones had six of them. You could play six, you know, insert six CDs in there. Um, CDs are cool, um, good quality for the most part. Uh, good quality for the most part, but not as good as DVD and I do have uh, again DVD audio is actually quite a Difficult thing, but I have the infinity one which is really cool. You know, uh, I'll, I'll play it at some point I don't know if that will translate to how the sounds are and using DVD audio is the best way to make use of these um, You know the speakers in the seats right now. You can't really hear much of it. You um I mean, it's surround sound, you know, and basically these are like your little surround sounds, personal surround sound speakers. Alright, so after that, we have, push it again, compact flash. Compact flash, that goes in, in here, this slot over here. And I do not have a compact flash card. Uh, I looked a little I uh, just wanted to know where I could get um, a compact flash card so I went to a camera store uh, they said it cost 36 bucks and I was thinking yeah I don't really need it I can still play music in different ways right so compact flash then DVD there you go and with DVD so right now because the break is down it's gonna play right check that out check time. Um, when you release the break over here Watch this. It immediately trips out and says, Video will be resumed when this or that. So, engage the brake again. And here you go. And as I said, there's a bypass for it. So, the, the trick with the DVD system is, uh, well, you know, at least the, the way to use it. One, these are headphones by the way I have a full set two of them in here you could use this and let me jump to the back and you'll see what happens back here I could use this uh, this remote and this is open close display open and close it and come here to the IR reader There you go. It's playing here and it's playing there too, right? However, if you wanted to, so right here, it's playing through the entire uh, car. You use your headphones. Let me let me, in, let me open one of these. These are your headphones, right? And you turn it on. It's, it's interesting you turn it on on the opposite side of where the light is so the the indicator light is right here the indicator light is on this one it says power but the turning on is on this one so and there it is you can probably hear it from here and then the volume button 
volume uh, dial is right here on this one that says indicator so while that's playing you can go back to the front and I'm just gonna try to reach over and so you can hear the whole car is playing the the video right now the movie and I can switch it to AM 797 delivered so the car is playing radio or you know phone or whatever it is that's coming through the main speakers but back here it's still playing the movie so still plays the movie and the way to hear it is through these headphones and how do I get that so just turn it up can you hear that So it's still playing through the headphones, the headphones are really loud. Turn it down. Here you go, you can play two different uh, forms of media from the back. And uh, so one way to close, you know, you could stop it from playing, just open close, DVD or whatever it is. Uh, check this out, you could kind of skip forward. It's your controls basic, basically for volume and all the other things your remote could do. Just a few tricks, honestly, not too much and um so check this out again i'm gonna go, i'm gonna go to the front and in front here how do you get to operate your dvd screen in the back settings okay display no rear display okay then it's good you know just hit okay which uh, checks or unchecks that okay button over there when I hit okay over here It goes down and when I hit okay, it will open again uh, so <laughs> I suppose one key thing I should have mentioned about my uh, About this screen is that it's touch screen. I try not to touch it too much so that it doesn't smudge but yeah, it is a huh? It, it is a touch screen but as I said, there's so many different ways to make this work that I don't know why you'll even be touching the screen, you know. This one here has two modes already, you know. Right here, here, you know, up, down. Um, you've got this one here, you know. You've got these ones here. There's so many different ways to make it work that I really don't see why you would mess with the touch screen. All right, I think that's gonna have to be enough for today, and uh, we'll we'll see you guys later. Oh wait, 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 wait! I didn't talk about the DVD. That is where you play the DVD. I wanted to do a whole different video on media and entertainment uh, features in the in the car because I figured it would take a huge chunk of the for sale video and you know some people just want the engine transmission and the seat they don't really care about all the other features uh, at which point I say well this car at least at my asking price might not be the one for you